Well, it's been a great relationship that we have with the Hawthorne Football Club, and it's not just about the way they support Cancer Council Tasmania, but it's the awareness that they're creating about cancer. You know, it's not just uh, people that are diagnosed, it's people, many people are affected by cancer. So in creating that awareness right across the state, uh, it will be fantastic. And of course, if they're going to be wearing their pink, what a wonderful outcome. So if that's not a great way to um, to push awareness of cancer in Tasmania, then I'm not sure what, what will actually else will work. Well, I think it's just being part of a huge community. So Tasmanians have really embraced Hawthorne Football Club and so we're really excited that they've, they've embraced Cancer Council Tasmania. So it's been a great relationship since they've been here. I think we've been working with the football club now since 2013. So it's not just, of course, about Cancer Council. It gives an opportunity for at least every year now 100 survivors of cancer and their families to form that Pink Guard of Honour, which is a wonderful opportunity for them. But also it does create that awareness in the crowd. People have to ask the question, why are we here? Why is it pink? Um, because it affects so many people in Tasmania. You can never stop raising awareness about cancer. So eight people a day are diagnosed, but the impact of that cancer diagnosis affects many more people than just the one who's been diagnosed. So to work with the Hawthorne Football Club to keep raising that awareness, I mean the Hawthorne Football Club is synonymous with so many families and so many households in Tasmania. So even if you're not the most avid supporter of the Hawthorne Football Club, the fact that you've got a club with that measure who's, who's doing so much for Cancer Council Tasmania and ensuring that that awareness can, can be pursued and, and broadened across our whole state is, is a great outcome. As we come through the gate, there'll be volunteers there rattling some tins, so we're looking for some donations, which would be great. There's wonderful merchandise to buy, of course, and we'd encourage everybody to wear a splash of pink for the day. So if people would like to hear more about the pink match and be a bit more involved, uh, we would welcome them to come to our website, which is cancertas.org.au.